Morning, Pete, North Las Vegas. Um, I did a video yesterday um, showing how I hooked up my uh, my O-ring connections off my Vintage Air to the Vintage Air uh, O-ring to R4 compressor adapter block, and this is a uh, what they call a flat face block. And um, I, I got it all figured out. And I did everything right. I, I didn't put out any incorrect information, but I don't think I put out enough detailed information. So I thought I'd do a part two today to kind of tie up some loose ends from yesterday um i had a bag of the parts washers and collars and o-rings in a separate bag and like i said i i kind of i ended up figuring it out but i went back and tried to find my uh clutch pigtail and uh i couldn't find the pigtail but i did find another seal washer kit and this adapts r4 compressors to the different type uh, hose blocks so this is part number 2724887 and that came with uh three different rubber washers and two collars so this has the larger od so this is your suction washer and you don't really have much choice about where this goes it goes on the suction side obviously and it it sandwiches in there in a slight recess not much it's it almost sits flat but there's a slight recess right there so that's your suction side so like i said you don't have any choice about where that goes that goes there so we'll put this uh, suction washer on the pitcher we'll call this the suction side of the uh, adapter block the vintage air adapter block okay so some of your hose blocks depending on whether it's OEM or somebody else's aftermarket uh, hose block, um, you may have to use these collars and adapt the discharge side. And these collars are gonna fit on the adapter block. They don't really, they don't go into the compressor. These get tapped in to the adapter block. So you're gonna, you're gonna tap these in like so, whether you need the deep one or the, the shallow one. Depends on what type of block you're trying to adapt. And then uh, that adapts the uh, OD to the ID of the washer. So you get a tight seal. Okay, so the next thing I had to decide was which one of these washers is going to be used on the discharge. They both have the same outside diameter. They both have the same inside diameter as far as the rubber uh, seal. But where they differ is... The thickness so on my particular r4 compressor because mine has the deeper recess it was the green one and the red one was just not thick enough it sat like flush you, you wouldn't get any sealing on the rubber so that's how we decided that that the green one goes here and so we'll put that on the discharge side so we're not going to use this, we're not going to use the O-rings, and we're not going to use the collars. Now yesterday I didn't have any instructions, I just kind of had to wing it. When I found this bag, I also found that there was a set of instructions inside. And they give you different examples of hose blocks in different sizes. And then they tell you uh, which one of these washers should be used with, with the style of, of hose block that you have. So, I wish I would have known about this yesterday. It would have made things a little bit easier. Okay, so the other thing is, um, on my particular R4, it uses a standard bolt for the mounting bolt. And that's 3 8 24 by inch and a half. It gets torqued to 25 foot-pounds. And that's this mounting bolt right here. So, uh, some R4 compressors are going to use the metric. And here's the metric size right here, 10 by 1.5 by 40 millimeter. Okay, so we figured out which washers we needed. We got everything bolted up. Now we probably should talk about the oil. Now GM says that you can have up to about eight, eight ounces of oil 
according to their directions here. And if you're just replacing the compressor, it looks like about maybe three fluid ounces max, anywhere from two to five fluid ounces. But if you're doing a whole brand new system, they're saying that you should put three ounces in the evaporator, one ounce into the condenser, and a couple ounces into your uh, accumulator. And then Vintage Air says that most compressors, about two ounces. So up to a total of eight ounces. Now I'm running, I'm going to be running R134 refrigerant. So here's the oil that was recommended by AC Delco. Uh, PAG oil 1234593 or AC Delco 15-118. Okay, so I made some notes on my drawing in case I lose the kit or instructions or whatever. Um, I put a note on here that because I'm using the Vintage Air 34108 BUG. Now they make another style here to where the you, you can get it with the 90 degrees instead of the, the horizontal mount, but I was worried about hood clearance. So I decided to go with the, uh, the horizontal mount, which worked better for me. Okay, so um, I made a note here on my R4, and here's the part number for my compressor, that the colors were not required. Okay, I don't know what's going on. This camera keeps just shutting off every once in a while. So anyway, I think we've covered pretty much everything except... Um, I went ahead and took measurements off the washers that I used. So like I said, just in case I lose kit information or the instructions or whatever, maybe I managed to hold on to this. So um, on the suction washer, the OD came in at 1.325 inches, roughly 33 millimeters. The ID of the suction rubber washer was 0.6 inches or roughly 15 millimeters. And it came in at 0 0.1085 thick, which is about 2.75 millimeters. So that's the, the suction washer dimensions. Okay, now the discharge washer, which is the green seal, which is the one I use, which is the thicker one. The OD came in at 1.178 inches, 30 millimeters. The ID, again, 0.6 inches, 15 millimeters. And it came in at about 0.207 thick or 5 millimeters. I wrote down 15. That's wrong. That is wrong on the thickness. Okay. I don't know why I wrote 15. Okay, so I think we kind of covered everything. Pretty sure we got... More detailed information this time around. Um, I, I don't know much about AC on automotive, um, but I'm learning. Um, by the time I get this car done, I'll, I'll know a little bit about this car. But um, now if you're running a, a different style compressor like a Sandin, I think most Sandins already come with these uh, O-ring bubble flare connectors. So you're not going to have to worry about all this adaptation unless you're, you're running uh, an OEM type compressor. Okay, well, hopefully uh, when I do these videos, it's I'm just, hopefully it helps somebody and uh, you won't have to ride the, the struggle bus like, like I'm doing. Anyway, uh, Pete North Las Vegas over and out.